Vitamin A is a necessary nutrient for all of us, and while vitamin A deficiency is very rare in the developed world, it is quite common in other parts of the world. Nearly one third of all children under five suffer from some form of vitamin A deficiency. And according to UNICEF, vitamin A deficiency is the leading cause of blindness in children that is preventable. Why is vitamin A deficiency so much more common in poorer countries than it is in richer countries? Poorer countries do not have as much access to the foods that contain vitamin A. These foods include liver, carrots, sweet potatoes, broccoli, spinach, eggs, butter, and a few other forms of vegetables. People in poorer countries rely much more on starches, such as potatoes, wheat, or rice. Now these starches, while they do have some other B vitamins, and potatoes for example have vitamin C, they're pretty much devoid of vitamin A. And since this is the main staple diet in these countries, they're not getting enough vitamin A into their diets. One of the proposed solutions to this problem is a genetically modified organism of rice called golden rice. This rice produces carotenoids, which given an orange pigmentation just like in carrots, and these carotenoids are converted in the body to vitamin A. Now there has been resistance to this genetically modified organism being introduced into the diets of people in these countries. Now there is a general fear in many people of genetically modified organisms that consuming them is going to harm them. Many of these fears are not founded in science. However, there is a rational reason for these countries to oppose genetically modified organisms. You see, for companies to make money off genetically modified organisms, they have to sell the seeds. Now, if they just gave you the seeds, and the seeds of these genetically modified organisms could keep growing generation after generation, someone could just buy a few seeds, grow some crops, gather more seeds, and after a few years, they would have enough seeds to feed many, many people. So companies create something called suicide seeds. These seeds produce one crop for one year, and then the seeds that are produced from that crop are infertile, which means people have to go back to the company to buy seeds the next year. Many of these nations are afraid to accept these genetically modified organisms because currently, farmers can use some of their crop, take the seeds from it, to use it for the next season's crop. However, with the genetically modified organisms, they're required to buy new seeds every year, and the prices of these seeds might be jacked up by the companies, and they have no control over it. If people throughout the world did have access to these plants with carotenoids in them, it would greatly decrease vitamin A deficiency, but it wouldn't get rid of it completely. You see, carotenoids are converted into vitamin A, but carotenoids are not actually a form of vitamin A. Some people can't convert the carotenoids into vitamin A effectively, which means they need the preformed vitamin A called retinol. Retinol is found in animal sources such as liver. Now, you can't actually get too much vitamin A, and vitamin A toxicity usually comes from eating a type of liver that has a lot of vitamin A or by oversupplementation. The plant source carotenoids can't give you an overdose of vitamin A because if there's too much carotenoids in your system, your body will simply stop converting it into vitamin A. But if you eat preformed vitamin A, your body can't get rid of it effectively. Your body has trouble with getting rid of excess vitamin A because it's a fat soluble vitamin as opposed to water soluble vitamins like vitamin C. Most natural sources, however, won't give you too much vitamin A, except for polar adapted animals like polar bear liver or arctic wolf liver. Animals adapted to polar environments store more vitamin A. Vitamin A toxicity can also occur due to other health problems such as renal failure or liver damage. But vitamin A toxicity is quite rare. So if you live in a developed country like Japan, the United States, Canada, or in a European country, you probably don't have to worry about vitamin A deficiency. But if you live in a country like Africa, India, or China, or the Middle East, you may want to get some carrots, sweet potatoes, or eggs, and more butter into your diet. So I'd like to hear it from you guys. What do you think is the best way to get vitamin A into people's diets who need it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.